Good morning, good afternoon, or good evening. Welcome to your practice today of Wild Flow with me, Sydney. Today our theme is It Feels Great. Uh, just a reminder that alignment is about finding the feeling inside of the things we want and then deliberately choosing to create those feelings over and over and over and letting it feel good. So uh, this is an intuitive practice, so we'll be moving through. The only goal of, of this practice today is to move. So we are going to nail that. And without further ado, let's get started. All right, you can go ahead, find a seated position, and push, oh, you can push play. So finding somewhere comfortable to sit down and settle in. Moving fleshy bits up out of the way so that you can sit up nice and tall. Pressing the crown of your head up towards the ceiling or the sky and then gently closing down your eyes. Letting yourself, letting the outside world fall away as you start to bring your mind, bring your attention, bring your intentions inward. I encourage you to breathe deeply in and out through your nose. Or if you need to let out a sigh today, then go ahead and let out that sigh. And with your breath, filling up the chest, filling up the ribs, filling up the belly, filling yourself up until you can't fill yourself up anymore. And then exhale from your belly, from your ribs, and from your chest. In this space, we'll keep breathing as the, in this way as we gently begin to invite movement into our body, maybe by swaying side to side or rocking forward and back. There's no wrong way to greet yourself. So gently bringing in movements, letting the music move you. And if you're following along today without music, then just letting your body tell you what it wants to do. Flowing around and exploring, beginning to check in with every vertebrae of your spine. Maybe even bringing your arms in, getting them involved, rolling your shoulders around or wiggling I'm going to pause for a second because I have to turn off this dang lock screen. My new case is coming today. <laughs> okay. Staying right where you are, pressing play again in this next song. Use my arms to show us what. And we'll slowly begin to bring those movements into larger spaces. So really exploring the outer edges of your movement, rolling your upper body around your pelvis, and then we'll bring our body to stillness as we bring our arms out to the side, parallel to the floor, reaching out, palms facing down towards the ground, stretching out through your fingertips. Shoulders down away from the ears, lower ribs pulled in, keeping your abdomen engaged. We're going to take a big breath, fill ourselves up, and then as we exhale, twisting from the belly to the ribs and the chest to the left. So nice big twist here, and we'll inhale, come back to center, and then exhale to the right from the belly, from the ribs, and from the chest. Coming back, so moving with your breath here, inhaling to center, exhaling to twist. Trying to keep your weight evenly distributed between your sit bones as you twist side to side. Inhaling back to center and exhaling to twist. Back to center and twist. And next time you twist over to the left, we're going to stay there putting our left hand behind our back, right hand to the outside of the left knee spiraling our torso clockwise to the right, to center. And 
and then we'll inhale, twist over to the right, right hand behind the back, left hand, left hand crossed over the right knee, spiraling counterclockwise, moving the rib cage around the pelvis to the left. And then we'll come back to center, inhaling both arms up over the head, thumbs come to touch, fingers wide to the side, giving your fingers some wiggles, some wiggles, some waves, and then changing the direction or the order of your wavy wiggles. And then we'll exhale, pull our elbows down beside our body, coming into cactus arms to bring our torso forward, flipping our toes. We come through toe stand. And we'll inhale, stand all the way up right away. Hands come all the way up overhead. And we'll exhale, hinge at the hips, forward fold. And then dragging your fingertips through some imaginary water at the floor, at the ground, going side to side, figure eights here, keeping your weight even between your feet. And then we'll slowly start bringing our torso back up, keeping those figure eights with our hands going as we come all the way back up. And we'll bring our hands to our side, coming to rest in Tadasana, in Mountain Pose, palms of the head, palms of the head, palms of the hands pointing forward, fingertips to the ground. And we're gonna bounce out through our heels, grounding our energy down into the floor, seeing if we can get all of our fleshy bits shaking. So we're kind of pounding the floor with our heels so that we can get our bits going. And then we'll bring our arms involved and start doing some shaking release, getting out into those muscles. Nice. And then we'll take a big breath, grounding down, hands come all the way up. We'll exhale, hands come down to heart center, sitting down into our chair and tiny little pulses here up and down not coming all the way up, just a little, pulsing. And we'll ground down into our left foot, lifting our right leg up so our thigh is parallel to the ground, pointing our toes down towards the floor. Big breath fills us up. And as we exhale, we'll tick it side to side. So tap the toe, cross and back. Getting an internal and external rotation happening at our hip joint here. And then we'll take that right foot and put it back where it belongs. Tiny little pulses here. Four, three, two, one. Grounding into that right foot, lifting that left thigh up parallel to the floor. Pointing the toes down, maybe even taking a little ankle rotation here. And the other way. Pointing the toe back to the floor, sitting down nice and low in your chair. Take your toes side to side. Getting a nice rotation happening in the hip. Keep it going. So strong. You can do it. And then we'll step that left leg out, knees come in and out here. Woo so coming up onto the toe, twisting the knees into center. And then we'll come all the way up to stand, stepping our feet out a little bit wider than shoulder width, toes pointed to the front of the room, maybe about as wide as your mat. Arms come out to the side, palms pointing forward. Neck is nice and long. Oops, I'm move over the fan. Neck is nice and long here. Crown of the head pushed up towards the sky. Big breath. Exhaling fully, squeezing the shoulder blades together. We're going to take the left hand and invert it so the thumb is pointing towards the ground. Big breath fills you up from your belly. And as we exhale, we're twisting from the left hip to the chest. Twisting to the left, coming back to center as our arm returns, facing forward our hand, and we invert our right hand, twisting back. So palms lead here. Our back hand is facing the way that we're moving. 
twisting side to side, keeping the hips where they are. Coming back to center. One more time on each side. Back to center. Nice and slow and intentional with these movements. And then we'll take our hands, twist them, or reach our right hand down towards our right knee as we reach our left hand up to the sky and then over our head. Reaching for the right side of your space. And we'll reach, reach, reach as far as we can and pull our elbow down to our ribs. Reach and pull. Reach, pull. Reach, pull. Reach, pull. Reach and then back stroke here. Big shoulder isolation happening. And we'll keep that arm moving around in a circle as we come back up to sand. Reaching our right arm up. Keep that left arm going. And then reaching over to the left. Let that left hand rest on the left thigh as the right arm comes up and over. Reaching as far as you can. Reach and pull. Reach. Pull. Reach. Pull. Reach, pull, checking in with your knees, making sure they're not locked. Micro bend happening here, squeezing the thighs together intentionally, pulling up that mula bandha or engaging the perineum floor. Pull, reach, pull. We're going to reach and then back stroke with our shoulder here. And then nice and slowly bring your torso back up, both arms involved here, big circles. And then circle forward. And then bringing hands to heart center, we'll step our feet in to center, toes together, heels apart, big breath, scooping the front of the room, inhale, reaching for the sky, gentle back bend, exhale, hinging at the hips, forward fold. We'll inhale, hands come up the shins, chest lifts for flat back. Exhale, planting the hands down beside the feet, slowly beginning to walk down the center of your mat, heels to toe, coming into your plank pose. And we'll do little hip ticks side to side, drawing a rainbow with your tailbone. And we'll keep those hip ticks going as we press back into downward facing dog. Walking your hands a little bit closer towards your feet, bending into one knee at a time. Take your dog for a walk, lengthening out through the back of your legs. And then we'll press down into our heels, tailbone goes way up towards the sky, biceps by the ears, neck is relaxed. Breathing here, fingers spread out nice and wide, gripping the mat with your fingertips, pressing the balls of your hand into the mat. We'll look up between our hands, we'll inhale, our hands, there's two of them. We'll inhale, raise our right leg up into the air, bend our right knee, exhale fully, and then inhale, open that right hip to the right side, draw some big outward circles with your knee. And we'll look up between our hands once again, bringing that knee in towards the nose and stepping it between the hands here, lowering down the left knee, pointing the left toes, walking ourselves up onto our thigh, pressing our hips down and forward, getting a nice stretch to the front of the left leg here. Right hand comes down beside the body, left hand comes up towards the ceiling, big breath. And then we'll exhale, bending that left hand over to the right side of the room. And we'll inhale, cartwheel that left hand down to the left side as the right hand up, comes up and reaches over to the left side. Inhale, cartwheel over to the right. And then exhale over to the left. Inhale to center. Exhale to the right. Inhale to center, exhale to the left. And one more time, inhale to the center, exhale over to the right. We're going to take our left hand, reach it to the outside of our right foot. So we're twisting here. And then we're going to press our knee forward. If you can bring your left hand on the outside of your left or your right leg, 
Go ahead and do that. If not, just keeping that left hand right by the right toes. And then tiny little pulses here, forward and back. And then we'll slowly walk ourselves up onto our thigh, left wrist on the outside of the right knee, bending into that left leg, reaching back for the left foot with the right hand, big twist here. Breathing deep, inhaling to create space and lengthen, exhaling to twist into this pose. And then we'll release that back foot, untwist our arms, hands come down on either side of the foot, flipping the back leg, just transferring our weight, or, or flipping the back toes, transferring our weight back, on, back onto that left knee, pointing the right toes up towards the ceiling, coming into half split or Hanumanasana. You're welcome to go into a full split in this space here or transfer your weight forward for a closer than half split. And then twisting those toes side to side, do some rotations with that hip. If you're in full split, coming up out of it, back into the half split, we can lean onto the left leg and bring the right knee back to meet the left, pointing our toes. We plant our hands on either side of our knees, lift and lower our knees. And then we'll lower our knees down to the ground. We'll inhale, come up onto our thighs, flipping our toes. We'll hover our, our hips up off of our legs, step our knees out wide, and we'll get those vertical figure eights going with our hips side to side. And then we'll bring our hands, get them involved. So moving the hips, moving the arms. It feels great. And bring those arms up higher and higher and higher. Get the movement going even more. And then bringing it back to center, we'll do our forward and back S flow with our spine. Arms come forward and back. And then we'll bring our hands down in front of our body, stepping forward with our left hip. Thumbs down forward and foot down and forward with our hips. Little pulses here. Making sure that back toe is pointed. <sighs> we'll twist over to the left. So right hand comes down on the outside of the foot, or if you can bring both hands on the other side of the hip, doing that tiny little pulses. It feels great to let crap go. Bye. <laughs> And then we'll bring that right wrist to the outside of the left knee, bending back into that left knee, doubling up your mat if you need. Bending that left knee up, reaching that left hand for the right knee, bending the right knee up, sorry, twisting to the right. Big breaths. And then we'll release that back knee down, twisting back to front transferring our weight into a standing split, hip tip side to side. We're not standing split, we're definitely sitting. <laughs> and then we'll bring that left leg back to meet the right, back on our shins. We'll inhale our hands, come up, interlace the fingers, push them up towards the ceiling. And we'll tick side to side with trying just above our waist. So keeping our waist, everything below our waist there. And we'll do big circles here just with the chest. And change direction. And then we'll bring those hands out in front. Keep this movement going. Picturing your arms like a hula hoop that you're pushing with your chest. Change direction. Palms towards the floor. Hands come apart, fingertips together. And then other way, bringing this movement down uh, towards stillness, flipping those toes, hands come down, hips come high and back, stepping
stepping back into your downward facing dog. And we'll inhale, our left leg comes way up high into the sky, bending into that left knee. We'll inhale, open up to the left side, big backward circles with the left knee. So we're leaving your dog to the left. And then we'll look up between the hands as we bring that knee into the nose, stepping the left foot forward. We'll keep that right leg up as we cartwheel right hand first, then left hand opening up into warrior two. So your right foot is perpendicular, 90 degree angle to your left. Arms are out parallel to the floor, bending deep into that left knee. If your knee goes past your ankle, that's okay as long as it feels good. If it's not feeling great, but you want, but you can't quite get deeper, just widen your stance so that you can push down with your hips, keeping the left left inner thigh pointed towards the second toe, grounded through the right pinky toe foot side, side of your foot, reaching forward and back, forward and back. And then taking that, speeding it up double time. And we'll do circles with our arms here. And backwards with the circles. And then reaching, reaching, reaching that left hand out way in front of you, straightening out through that left leg. Left hand comes down on the inside of the shin. Right arm comes up and we're little pulses here, reaching up towards the sky. Keeping that right hip open to the right side. And then we'll scoop it up, tap it out into the chest with the left hand. And then keeping that left hand on the chest, we'll turn our left toes to be parallel with the right, hinging at the hips to fold deep down. Arms to, or thumbs come tuck into opposite elbows, figure eight side to side. And then we'll release those arms down. Hands come to the hips, chest lifts for flat back. Stepping the feet in slightly, grounding into your pinky toe side. We're going to shake our hips side to side as we sway our chest left to right. So it's a little bit of a mind trick here. We're doing that on purpose. It's a mind-body connection thing. Shaking to those hips, grounding, 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 grounding. Swaying the chest side to side. And then we'll keep that, those hip shakes going as we fold back down, swaying side to side. We'll take our right hand, reach it for our left ankle as our left arm goes way up into the air. If you can't reach your ankle, just keep your right hand on the floor by the arch of your left foot. And then we're going to bend and pulse into our right knee. And then we'll straighten up into that right leg. Left hand comes, crosses inside of the right, so we have cross arm forward fold, cross arm wide leg forward fold happening, tucking the chin in towards the elbows. We'll uncross the arms, turn our fingers back behind us as we walk our hands underneath of our body. And then we'll inhale, walk back to center, reaching that left hand towards the right leg, the right arm comes up into the air, we pulse into the left knee. <laughs> and then we'll take our right arm, cross it over our left, step our feet in towards center, hands come down on the outside of the knee, or hands bending into the knees, lift the body up, coming into Utkatasana or chair pose, reaching your arms up to the sky. You can step into the top of our mat. We'll do little hops here. So we're in our chair, but we're little hopping. And then we'll straighten up for full size jumps. Big jumps, big movements. Keep it going, keep it going. We're shaking out our muscles. We're shaking out our body. It feels great. 
And then we're gonna jump, jump, exhale. Jump, jump, exhale. Jump, jump, exhale. One more time. Jump, jump, exhale. One more time for fun. Jump, jump, exhale. Stepping up to the top of your mat if you're not there any yet. We're gonna plant our hands down. Step back one foot at a time into plank and then step them in for mountain climber with a high hip mountain climber. So we're stepping back to plank and up towards a folded chair. Next time you're back, go ahead and stay there in your plank. We'll do a vertical figure eight with our hips here side to side. And we'll keep that figure eight going as much as we can as we bend our elbows close to the body, lowering down 90 degree elbows, lowering the knees when you need to, tiny little pulses into the arms here, little push-ups, halfway. Four, three, two, one. Lower down, exhaling nice and slow, left cheek to the mat. Big breaths here. And then we'll tent our fingertips wide. We'll inhale, pull our vertebrae one at a time, waving up and down, on and off of our mat. So big kelp spine flowing forward and back. Keeping the fingertips on the ground, elbows nice and high, shoulder blades squeezing together. Keep it going. Nice spine waves here. And then we'll lower, lower one more time with the right cheek onto the mat. Hands come underneath of the shoulders, elbows squeezing in towards the body. Fill your back with breath. And then we'll come onto the front of our forehead, rock it side to side. And then tuck that chin, elbows close to the body. We'll inhale, keeping our knees on the ground, lifting our hips, coming back into child's pose. Hands can come back to the ankle, the ankles for fall and leaf. Forehead toward the knees. And then we'll roll up one vertebrae at a time. Our, our gaze is the last thing to lift. So we roll our shoulders, lift our gaze towards the top of our mat. We'll come up onto our left knee, stepping forward. <sighs> onto our right foot. Planting into that right leg, making sure you're spreading out your foot, planting your heel, your pinky to a side, and fanning open your toes to the left. We'll ground into that right leg, step up, bringing the left knee with us. Nice. Hands can be at heart center, or on the hips, or wide out to the side as we hinge into the right hip, kicking the left leg back, coming into warrior three or into a full airplane. Big breaths here. And then we're gonna take, <laughs> we're gonna play with our balance as we take our back leg that's out, here I'll turn this way, taking our leg that's out behind us and ticking it side to side. I always think shark when I'm doing this, like very graceful side to side movements. Your standing leg is gonna talk to you about this and have something to say. Let it talk. Wiggle, <laughs> wiggle as you need. We're using those compensatory muscles to help stabilize us. <laughs> now we're gonna lower our hands down in front of our standing leg as we lift our left leg up towards the sky for standing split. We're gonna bend that left knee and bring it in behind the right knee, little pulses here up and down. So kind of crossing the knees as we bring the left knee into the crook of the right knee. And then we're going to take that left leg, cross it in front of the right 
and then fold forward coming into a cross leg forward fold your standing leg is going to have something else to say about this one as well and that's okay let it talk make sure you can wiggle both your left and your right toes big stretch from the back of the right leg happening here our top half is totally limp and heavy our neck is long and we're going to give a slight tuck to our tailbone as we nod, nod, <laughs> nod, uh, yes, and shake our head no. That slight underturn of the tailbone stays as we lead with our heart, drawing a line away from our body and slowly beginning to lift our chest up high, but leading with your heart space. So not rounding the spine, being engaged to the core to lift up. Come all the way to stand. Gentle back bend as your hips slide forward and your gaze goes up. And we'll exhale, hands to heart center, straightening out the body as we uncross the right leg. Standing at the top of our mat, we fill ourselves with breath. And we exhale fully. And we inhale, gather space around us, reaching for the sky. We exhale, hinge at the hips, forward fold. We inhale, hands come up the shins, chest lifts for flat back. And then we exhale back down, hands come to plant on either side of the feet, jumping our feet back for plank, and then lifting our hips high and back for downward facing dog. Gentle little grounding down happens through our hips, double beats here, so tap, tap, lift, tap, tap, lift, tap, tap, lift. And then we'll ground down into that right leg. We'll inhale, our left leg comes high into the sky. Bending that left knee, we look up between our hands, step our left foot between them. And then we'll bend that right knee down to the mat as we stand ourselves up, coming into a kneeling pose. Grounding down through the left heel, through the left pinky toe side, fanning our toes open. We ground all of our weight into the left foot as we step our right foot comes up, knee into chest, our hands are at heart center as we hinge at our left hip, stepping that right leg, reaching it back behind us, arms come out to the side, coming into a nice, stable, non-turbulent airplane, but then we move our shark tail side to side, and then <laughs> stability probably will go away. If not, good for you. <laughs> That's awesome. <laughs> yeah, keep it going. Keep that movement side to side where we want those muscles activating all the way around our standing leg. We love you, standing leg. Thank you for holding us. We'll hinge at our hips. Hand comes down. Hands come down. Right leg up towards the sky, bending into the right knee. Lifting and lowering that right knee to the back of the left knee. Little pulses here. And then we'll take that right leg, bring it in front of the body, crossing it in front of the left, letting your top of half of your body hang heavy, hang low. Making sure you can still wiggle the toes, maybe even coming up onto your tippy toes and lowering down, finding a space in the center of your feet to hold you stable. Stretching through the back of the left leg. Ah, letting your upper half dangle here. And then we'll bring our hands to our hips. Lifting first with our belly, then our ribs, then our chest. Coming with our back parallel to the floor, we take a big inhale here. Exhale fully. And then inhale, lead with that heart space, drawing a straight line in front of you. Both hands come up to reach up to the sky. As your gaze goes up, your hips come forward. Gentle back bend here. And we exhale back, spine comes neutral, hands down to heart center, uncrossing the left leg. We'll start to bend one knee at a time, drawing circles with the knees. So outer circles with the knees. We'll bring that movement into our hips, into our arms. We can get our arms involved. We can bring them over our head, do our sunshine pose. Otherwise, we're moving, we're twisting, 
We're drawing circles with our knees, which is moving our whole body. And then we're going to bring our knees together, hands come to the knees, drawing circles with the knees together, rotating through the ankles or over the ankles, side to side, about three each direction, and back. And then we'll bring our hands down to our big toes, peace fingers wrap around the big toes, knees bend deep, elbows come wide, thinking nose to knees, gentle stretch here, forehead falls towards the mat. And then we'll inhale, come up halfway, we're going to turn our body to the right, so both feet are facing the right half of the room, legs are together, however, we're bending down into our knees, we're looking down to the other end of our mat, and we're thinking about traveling that way in a monkey kind of fashion. So we're sitting down deep into our knees. Our hands are reaching for the ground. We're going to reach, reach, reach to the side. So I'm facing, I'm wide, wide on my mat with my right hip facing to the right of my mat. So reaching to the side, to the ground, hands come and rest. We jump our feet from one hand over to the other hand and then reach over again. Feet jump from one side to the other and back, and we'll travel back the other way, so reaching hands over to the left, feet jump from one hand to the other, coming back up, reaching over to the left, jumping to the side, and then again, back down to the end of your mat, and jumping feet hand to hand, and back up to the front, and we'll twist to the left, coming back to face the short end of our mat, planting our hands down, Stepping our feet back, coming into our plank. Bending the elbows close to the body, lowering the knees, lowering the chin, lowering the chest down to the mat. Our left cheek comes to rest on the mat. We'll reach our left hand way out behind our back, bending into our right knee. We'll roll over onto that left shoulder. Right hand comes behind the back, sticking it in that back pocket. Big breath. And then we'll take that right hand, bring it back in front of the body, plant it in front of the chest, lifting our upper body up off of the mat, bringing our left hand out in front of us so our left ear rests on our left bicep. Body's in a straight line from the left fingers to the tips of the left toes. We're going to take our right leg, reach it up towards the sky as we hold on to the pinky toe side of our foot with our right hand, kicking that right leg up towards the sky. So right leg and right hand are in the air. Left arm and leg are stretching away from one another. Hips are pressed forward. Shoulders are pulled back. Chin is slightly tucked. Neck is long. Big breaths here. And then we'll release our foot from our hand. Bring our hand down in front of our chest. Point our toes towards the front of our body. Ooh, gentle leg lifts here, so ankle to ankle, and then lifting the right leg up into the air, getting into the side of the hip here, lifting and lowering. And then we're going to take that right leg, hover it just a little bit higher than hip height, and then press it forward and back, doing your best to keep your left limbs glued into the mat. Heel, our toes come forward, heel comes back, leg is straight, reaching forward and back. And then we're going to bend into that right knee, reaching back for the right ankle with the right hand, rolling on to the belly, left arm reaches forward, left leg reaches back, pressing hand into foot to lift your right knee up off of the mat. <sighs> hand into foot and foot into hand gives you traction, gives you strength. Lifts your chest gently off of, the, off of the ground. Big breaths here. And we'll lower that right leg down, pointing that right toe towards the left toe. Right hand comes to meet the left at the top of the body. And we'll inhale, lift 
hands and feet up off the mat, pressing into the belly, and exhale, lower down. And we'll inhale, lift the arms, lift the feet, and then exhale, lower back down. Inhale, lifting the hands and the feet. Exhale, lowering down. Inhale, lift. Exhale, lower. We're gonna reach our right arm out to the right side. Right cheek comes to rest on the mat, rolling on. I'm gonna switch sides so I'm facing you here. Rolling on to our right out, right shoulder. The dog is in the way. <laughs> Excuse me, Yogi. All right, rolling onto our right shoulder. Our left leg bends, comes to rest on the mat. Our left hand reaches behind our body here. Big breaths. And then we'll take that left hand, bring it back in front of the body. Press it into the mat so we can lift our right shoulder off of the ground, reaching our right arm up towards the top of our mat. We lay down on our right arm, bicep to ear or ear to bicep, straightening that right leg, straightening that right arm. Our left knee comes into our chest so we can grab onto the pinky toe side of our right foot or the inside of our left foot, sorry, and then stretch it up towards the ceiling. You can, if you're finding you're rolling around, you can bend that right knee. And then we'll bring the left hand back to the mat, straightening out the left leg, turning the toes to the front of your body, so your foot is, or your foot is in a normal position or straight position. And we'll lift and lower that left leg, isolating the side of the left hip. Your hand can be on your hip if that helps you keep your pelvis glued or your right hip glued to the ground. Lifting and lowering here. Squeezing into those big muscle groups at the back of the butt. They're glutes. The big muscle, group, muscle groups are glutes. <laughs> And then we're gonna lift that right leg a little bit higher than hip height, keeping that foot flex, our toe, we um, swing it forward and back. So nice and slow, nice and intentional. Lifting it forward, pressing it back. You're moving parallel to the floor here, forward and back. And then we'll take that left leg back, bending at the knee, reaching the left arm back to the left ankle, lifting the chin slightly so we can roll onto the belly. So right arm forward, right arm back. Belly is on the ground. You might have to adjust here and make room for your bits. Totally okay. Pressing the top of the right foot and this, so that's the palm of my right hand into the mat. We'll press foot into, Ankle into hand, hand into ankle to lift that left knee up, gazing at the horizon here. As long as you're not cranking into the back of your neck, if you feel like you're creasing the back of your neck, just tuck your chin ever so slightly. And then we'll release that left foot back down to meet the right. Hands come underneath of the shoulders. We'll inhale, lifting up to cobra, sit, so knees stay where they are, we're lifting through the front of the body, I guess this is more like seal, knees on, knees on the mat, hips lifted off of the mat, arms straight and underneath, gripping the mat with your fingertips, we pull our hips forward and lift our chest up. And then we exhale, tuck the tailbone under as we round through our spine, coming into a tabletop position. And we'll take a big breath, Lower our belly, lower our chest, lift our gaze, and then exhale, tuck our tailbone, round our belly up towards the spine, arching the back like a cat. And then we'll step one leg at a time through our hands, coming through cross-legged or making your way in your way down onto your back, pulling your knees into your chest, gentle rocking side to side, maybe even drawing a circle with those knees. 
massaging out those large muscle groups at the back of your butt. <laughs> oh. We're going to straighten out through our right leg, take our left hand on the inside of our right thigh and open our right, our left knee, sorry, to the side, coming into a supine tree pose or a tree pose on your back. You can even take your right hand and place it on your right hip to help keep it on the ground. Big breath here. And then we'll take that left hand to the outside of the left thigh, bring it back up to center. The right knee comes to meet it. Gentle circles with the knees again. Massaging out those hips. And then we'll keep that right leg where it is, step with that left leg back or extend it long, right hand on the inside of the right thigh, opening the right knee to the side, left hand to the left hip, big breaths here. And then we'll take the right hand on the outside of the right hip, right thigh, Bring our knee back up towards the sky, stepping our right leg out long to meet the left. Ah, taking up space here, nice and wide with your legs, nice and wide with your arms. Tuck your shoulder blades under one at a time. And we'll flip our palms so that they're gripping the ground, actually taking the ankles and placing them together. We'll point our toes, glue our legs together as we lift our legs up through waterfall, so up towards the sky and then lower them down nice and slow. Some last minute core work. We'll inhale, lift up to the sky, and exhale, lower back down, pausing if you need to catch your breath before letting your body relax down, coming into your final resting, Shavasana. Letting your breath move in and out of your body, Filling your chest, filling your ribs, filling your belly, and exhaling from your belly, from your ribs, and from your chest. Inhale, lifting the belly. Exhale, lowering the belly. Take three more great deep breaths. Curling your lips into a gentle smile. And on the last exhale, on your third exhale, let go of the need to control your breath. Soften your eyebrows away from the center of your face and let them melt towards the floor. Soften in through your eyes. Unclench your jaw by separating your top teeth from your bottom teeth. Cradle an imaginary droplet of most precious water in your center of your tongue, letting it be soft, letting your body relax. You are so safe. Everything that's happening around you is doing just that. It's happening around you, so let it happen. Give yourself permission to rest here.
slowly start to wake your breath again. Feeling your chest, feeling your hips, feeling your belly as you breath, pausing at the top of your inhale, feeling this wave of life. Before exhaling fully from your belly, from your ribs, and from your chest, pausing at the bottom of your exhale, feeling this feeling of emptiness, which doubles as a feeling of being fully ready to receive. And then nice and slowly begin to reintroduce movement by wiggling your fingers and your toes. And then bring your left hand to your heart and your right hand to your belly. And pause here. Half awake, but fully resting. Just feel your breath move from your right hand to your ribs, to your left hand. And then exhale from your belly, from your right hand. Feel the waves that happen between your hands as your body takes in what it needs and lets go of what it doesn't. Feeling the rhythm of your heartbeat under your left hand. Gently taking your arms and stretching them overhead, stretching your hands far away from your feet. And then exhale, rolling onto your right side, cradling your head and your right arm, coming into a fetal position. And then gently press yourself back up to a seated position. You can keep your eyes closed or open them gently, but move those fleshy bits out of the way. We're going to take our elbows and bend them into our body. Our hands come out to the side, outstretched through our fingers. We're going to connect with our breath again, inhaling, lifting into the chest into our ribs, expanding our belly outward, and then we'll exhale from our belly, from our ribs, and from our chest. Tucking our chin in ever so slightly, we're going to start doing gentle pulses with our hands, like we're holding a big globe of luminescent light, and we're breathing energy into it we bring in gentle pulses or palms towards one another and away. 
Keeping this movement nice and subtle, but stretching your hands in such a way that you can feel the heat transfer from palm to palm. Keeping your breath long, deep, and intentional. Letting go of what is no longer serving you. We're going to take these pulses and make them a little bit bigger. Inhaling fully and then exhaling from our mouths this time. We inhale fully and exhale. Keeping our hands pulsing. greater, keeping our elbows locked in towards our body. Keep your breath going. Keep it deep. Keep it intentional. Filling yourself up. And letting it all out. Inhaling fully. And exhaling. Keeping those arm movements or making those arm movements a little bit. Breathing here, making the ball of light bigger and bigger with every breath. We're filling ourselves up and we're exhaling. Bringing that movement smaller, smaller. Feeling the energy between our hands. And then gently bringing both hands to our heart. We breathe here. Blink our eyes open. Take our arms, lift them wide to the side and up to the sky. As we reach up to the stars, looking up between our hands, we pause in exaltation for our day, for our world for our life. We fill ourselves with breath, bring our hands down to our third eye where we pause here, where we always remember to think great thoughts. All together again, we fill ourselves with breath. Exhaling, we bring our hands down to our throat and our lips, the center of our voice, where we always remember to speak great words. And one last time all together in our practice today, we fill ourselves with breath as we bring our hands down to our heart center where we do great things. Thank you so much for rolling out your mat today and joining me for our wild flow practice. I see you. Namaste.